today we are starting with the topic genetics to study with genetics we should know the terms which is used in genetics the first term which is called genes now what is genes we can say that genes is a hereditary unit is a hereditary unit present inside the nucleus In other terms, we can say gene is any sequence of a DNA encoding a specific character is called genes. Example, genes can be for politeness, if you are angry, for angriness. Now, Inside a gene, there are term called allele. Now, what is allele? Allele are the alternative forms of genes. Forms of, for example, if we are representing gene, then it is represented by a single alphabet like T for, like T for tallness. But if we talk about the allele, for allele we use, for representing we use double T. That means a single gene is having two alleles. Next talk about dominant allele or dominant gene. Now what is dominant and what is recessive over here? If we talk about dominant, dominant allele is that which can the character which can express in both the condition like in homozygous as well as heterozygous. The character which cannot able to express in both the cycle or in both the condition is called recessive in both the condition but can express only in homozygous condition. Secondly, in dominant, we represent the allele or the gene by capital T. But in recessive, we express it or represent it by small t. What is homozygous and heterozygous? If the same allele or the pure form if the same alleles or the pure form of character or parent is present then it is called homozygous like we are representing capital T and capital T which is a pure form of a parent which is representing a tall plant next is heterozygous Heterozygous, if the alleles are not same or they are not pure form or we can say they are the hybrid form, then it is called heterozygous like capital T denoting or representing the tallness and small t representing the dwarfness. In homozygous, single gamete will form and in heterozygous, Two gamete formation will be next talking about cross cross where for the desirable characters we are where we are forming hybrid or breeding two plants to form a desirable plant is called a cross for example there are mono hybrid cross Monohybrid cross is the study of single character study of single character of a plant study of single character of a plant is called monohybrid cross for example we are crossing a single character like 
a tall character with a dwarf plant forming a hybrid capital T and small t which where all plants of this generation will have tall because the capital T or the tallness is the dominant allele. Similarly, dihybrid cross where the study of cross between two characters of a plant are called dihybrid cross. For example, we are taking the tallness core character as well as we are taking the roundness of the seed crossing with similar small dwarf plants with the character wrinkled seed. So here it is tr into small tr. So we will get capital T, small t, capital R and small r which is representing a hybrid where the plant is tall and round. Why? Because tall and round genes are dominant over dwarf and wrinkle gene. Next we are talking about polyhybrid cross. In polyhybrid cross we study more than two or three characters. Study of more than two or three character is called polyhybrid. Next here the cross called test cross which is called back cross. Back cross where we are crossing the generation with the parent generation. Now here two type of cross are present. One is out cross and second is test cross. Outcross where the F1 generation is crossed with the dominant pure parent. In test cross where the F1 generation is crossed with the dwarf homozygous condition of parent bud. Here we get all tall plants and here we get 50% of the plants are tall and 50% of the plants are dwarf. Where there are some ad advantages of test cross. Test cross is able to check out the parent of the generation. It helps in detection of purity of gametes. It helps to tell that either the plant is either the plant is hybrid or pure form or you can say for the detection of pure line we can use test cross now we talk that father of genetics Gregor Mendel who performed House Hall who study the contrasting character seven contrasting characters on the plant called Pisum Sataivu Pisum Sataivu wherein also known as pea plant. Now why he used pea plant because he found more contrasting correct characters in a single pea plant like uh, if we talk about height he found a tall plant of pea and a dwarf plant of pea. If we talk about the location of flower then it is terminal and axial. If we talk about the shape of seed it is round and wrinkled. Next, color of seed green and yellow. Shape of pod is inflated and deflated.
color of pod is yellow and green. Color of flower violet and white. These are the seven characters which Mendel study on pea plant. Next we talk about how a cross is done. First we talk about the gamete formation. Now gamete is formed by the formula to the power n where n is the number of heterozygous condition. For example, if we are having capital T and capital T, here number of heterozygous is 0, n is equals to 0. So the n by putting in formula 2 to power exponential 0 will be equal to 1. That means this will form a single gamete T. Next, if we take a heterozygous condition, then here the number of heterozygous is 1 and the number of gamete form is 2. So it will form two gamete, capital T and small t. Similarly, if we take transformations, then how it form T and small t, capital R and small t. Capital R and small it will form capital T and capital T smaller, small t capital R, small t and smaller. Small now these are the four gametes which are formed in this. You can practice so on by this putting heterozygous number in this form. Next, if we cross, for example, we have taken capital T. This we are crossing two characters with oh sorry first we start capital T with small t now here the formation will occur one gamete over there this is the hybrid and this is the F1 generation where F stands for filial filial means either of the pain either the daughter or the son now if F1 generation is crossed again with the F1 generation, that condition, the cross is called selfing. Now here, two gametes form over here and two gametes will form over here. Now, the cross will be capital T, capital T, capital T, small t, capital T, small t, and small t, small t where phenotype have three ratio one and genotypically is one ratio two ratio one phenotype now what is phenotype phenotype is the physical makeup of a body for example overall physically we can see that according to the dominant allele these three are dominant and one is pure dwarf and geno genotype what is genotype genotype is genetic makeup of the body genetic makeup means we can see that genetically we can find that one t capital t capital t that is pure line of tallness next two are recombinants that is capital t and small t you can say hybrid and third part is pure line of dwarf plant and so on you can practice different type of characters you can take two characters or three characters to breed with each other now talking about now talking about the principles of Mendel or we can say Mendel's now Mendel's first law say that which is law of dominance which I told you earlier that law of dominance says if a character if a character is able to express in both the condition homozygous as well as heterozygous condition then it would be regarded as dominant and the other one will be regarded as recessive. Second law is law of segregation. Now, law of segregation say that
the pure one that there will be no impurity after hybrid if we can say that that this is the hybrid then there will be no contamination without any contamination the two gametes will separate from each other with the pure form and third law is launch independent assortment we need assortment <laughs> if a parent having two gametes from two different gametes the law of independence is that these two gametes which are from these two gametes from and from the different parents they are totally independent to assort with any of the other gamete of the other parent like for example this T can bind or independently assort with this forming capital T capital T this can assort with this gamete that is forming capital T as well similarly the other one can also assort with any of the other gamete of the other plant this is what Mendel Darcy. Thank you.